Hi, I'm Doug Tenapel. I'm going to show my son, John, here, who's a pretty much a grown man, how to draw. So this is a kid who wants to play football. I just want to go over, this is what newsprint can do, and you can see by my hand how, you know, about how big that is. Yeah, Waffle House right now. This is probably a story I developed to pitch. So, yeah, look, there's a little man up there. And, and it's just scribbling in some lighting here. It's more to communicate a quick idea, but. I'm gonna start with this newsprint and I'll give you an example of some of the other newsprint stuff I've done. This isn't high end. This is just about getting started. See the thickness there? Gradations, super black blacks. You can still go in and do light sketching beforehand. All right, we're gonna get some art supplies. I'm gonna show John how to do some drawing. We're here at Hobby Lobby. Main thing, best thing about charcoal is you can lay it down like that and get the black black that you're looking for. Yeah. Sometimes you need to make art with some dead flowers. Nothing but break. Hey, I'm gonna go through this whole story. Look at this, Johnny. This is about a world of stuffed, it's like a stuffed animal war thing. I think I came up with this, so. This would probably be about 2011, maybe 2012-ish, but. Yeah, so these are really cheap, and I'm a little worried because what you do is we're gonna hand carve the tips with a razor blade. I found this in the closet, I forgot I had it. So this is how I used to develop some of my more, if I wanted something to look a little more cinematic, where you go down. And... So the reason why we do cheap supplies and the big pad i know it look i'm i was raised on eight and a half by 11 pieces of paper and a regular pencil so you start drawing yourself taught and you start drawing real small and real tight and real cheap and later it's harder to get real expressive drawings using your whole arm so that's why we could have bought a smaller pad but we went with a bigger one so that you're more encouraged to go broad, which is correct. And then the other reason, and that's also why we use newsprint. Newsprint is so cheap that you don't mind. If you make a mistake, nah, you just tear it off and throw it out. It's newsprint. So we would, sometimes if we ran out of newsprint, we literally would use newspapers to draw on because it's like a gray. If you combine all the letters on them and you use real newspaper. So those newsprint pads, cheap. They also have a nice cushion when you draw. There's like a bit of a cushion to them. That, that pad is so thick that when we start shaving our own pencils down with an X-Acto blade, it'll keep you from breaking your lead all the time. There's a little bit of cushion and we will. And these are little stuffed friends. He has Frey, the doll girl. There's Gregasis instead of Pegasus. It's Gregasis. That's a great looking character. I could do a cartoon of that guy right now. And there's Mike Train. He, he, he's just a torso sticking out of a cloth train. Mike Train. First things first, let's look at the pencil grade we have. I think he just looks awesome. You know yeah. I don't remember the story at all, but this is some kind of a, this is a boxing bear. I like him. You want to be able to see the surface. It's supposed to be perpendicular to your face. Oh, uh, yeah, this is this evil one-eared cat stuffed guy. He's driving a stuffed giant robot, which is pretty much my entire repertoire all in one story. This says dark, so take that one. Where this is going, but... And I don't know if this is in order either. He meets some kind of a magic wizard guy with a talking hat. And a little talking witch, and he, he gets the magic needle. <laughs> so we got the drawing board here, two pads, no, no. this little sandpaper. But maybe you could write the story someday, just taking this art as a cue. Oh, and this one's funny. He's stuck in a prison, and as the big cat guard's walking away, he sees the bear has stuck himself to his back, and he's going to follow the bad guys to their lair. <laughs> yeah. Circles. And you're gonna try and get a tip, just try and get a point on it. 
And really you don't need that until you get a four, the, the lead has to be like. And then, so the mom doesn't believe stuffed animals are real, right? And all the animals have to go back to earth and they come and they confront the mom and she sees that the stuffed animals are talking. She's like, what? You're possessed, you know. And we will build and develop, as I find better brands, I'll let you know also. But so far, the paper was about this uh, newsprint pad. And you got, I know you guys can get this on Amazon too, but there it is. Newsprint. This is 24 by 18 inch. Uh, this has 50 sheets. That's plenty of mistakes. There's, it's $16.99. And it's really big, really generous. And so if you screw up, you know, big deal. It's newsprint. But you'll be encouraged to experiment and play on it. So It's also made in Britain, which explains why. Limeys. Oh, and this is one of my other moments that are always like, the boy finds his father. You know, his father was missing. I think he was a, a seamster or something. Like he, he was a tailor and I think he gets lost in a world and they enslave him to keep him there. And the boy ends up finding him in prison. I've written that scene a thousand times too, which I love writing that scene. It always works. That's why I like it so much. Everyone's like, oh, you can't write it if you've already done it before. I'm like, bull crud, it works. And look, it comes with a little sharpener. Itty bitty sharpener. Okay. This set is by Derwent, which means Der inexpensive. This is all charcoal pencil. There's, that's the bad guy cat. That's a dead stuffed giant bear. I don't know what that is. I don't know where we are on this story. I, I don't know if I, I think I, I wrote the pitch up somewhere. So this is the giant stuffed monster. Okay, let's see if I can figure out what's good. This is just a full, huge page. So charcoal that you lay down, it would take you forever to paint this. Charcoal, you can sketch this thing. Never paint any of those. Yeah, like I might have, this might have taken two hours. I don't know, but there's these cat monsters in the foreground. Let's look at down here is, all these guys are crawling up the legs of this monster. And there, they're trying to stop the boy and his father, who's trying to stop the cat, who has a little heart in his hand. I think they're gonna replace his heart. I think they're gonna go, which is another thing I've done in uh, Neverhood before. But you can see all the patchwork and cool pulleys and things on this giant robot. See how we're holding it right now the way that we would be writing? Mm -hmm. It's not the way an artist is supposed to hold a pencil, I'm sorry to say. Like this. Nope. You got to get it. Nope. Look what I'm doing. Over. Ah. Yeah, there you go. So, I just want you to move. Pretend like me, like you're drawing. Look what I'm doing. Just pretend. Not this, you're doing this. That's not what... Yeah. So hold it down here. See that? How you can, this is more, hmm. and, and, and watch my arm. Look at my, all the way up to my shoulder. Look at all the way up to my shoulder, oh, right? Okay. It's ready to go as an animated movie. <laughs> but animation is so woke and stupid. do do We're gonna try to do a story, dang it. You can't tell a story anymore. You woke mother effers broke and killed story. So this is, here's the giant chasing them, which is another favorite thing I like. It's a very Jurassic Park thing, but chasing them through the woods. Oh, and that's the mom. See, the mom has their car and she's driving the little stuffed animals and the monster's chasing them. So I'm not sure what's going to happen here, but, and then, so I, I think this is the boy's arc where at the beginning he doesn't want to play sports. He wants to sew, which was me as a kid. Mm. I didn't want to play sports. I wanted to sew. So over and called him a wussy. And then at the end, he has to embrace the armor uh, that his dad gave him to play sports, right? So his dad wanted him to play. Yeah, which was true of my dad too. So, but you, you learn something about him that 
he, the hero overcomes the injury in his past and then learns to use it, right? But I'm not saying I'm a real artist. But I'm not, I'm not saying you have to do it, but I'm going to show you the right way before we all fall into the wrong way. Okay. Circles and lines. Okay. We're going to do some cartooning now. You ready? So what are we drawing out of? Well, Everything's a based on a circle, so you're going to start by doing a. Pass as you want it. Just a sm just any circle. Good. Well, and then. Good. Yeah, there you go. Oh, that's a good one. And look, now I'm going to draw. This is the construction lines. See how it's a ball now? I've seen those. You draw light. You draw way too hard. There you go. Yeah. Because eventually we're gonna start hand sharpening these with a razor blade. But first, we're just gonna pull some lines, okay? So you can go like this. This is one way to, it's called pulling a line. Watch what I'm doing. I'm making the whole pencil pop a wheelie so that the lead's down. And I'm gonna use my hand to just kind of go whoop, whoop. This is called pulling a line. And just see how close you can get your lines and how straight. You're supposed to pull them. Yeah, see, we naturally go like this. That's a bad habit. You're supposed to pull them straight down and make them follow your hands straight line. Because the, here's the giant tearing, there's the little Gregasis up there, tearing the house apart. He tears the roof off. Oh, the clock tower? This must be- Maybe he's attacking a town. Yeah, he's attacking the whole dang city. And you're just supposed to be really straight, okay? That's one way. Oh, you're pushing down way too much. That is a child's line. P pull this over here. You're not supposed to push down like that, right? Look how light and subtle, so watch. See how light that is? And then we're gonna pl you place the eyes on that line and I slightly tip them. See how it's like a uh, oval shape on this guy here? Uh -huh. That's our eye shape. Yeah. Full circles over here. Yeah. And then the black of the eye is in, set inside. Try that. Flow, baby. Flow. It's going to be light and flow. Pull lines. It's supposed to be down like this. So you're just, we're also not supposed to be in the couch. You're supposed to be like sitting at a horse. Because then you have full body range and it will ch affect your line. And when you get good enough, it really will make a difference. Just they need a hero. Oh, and there he is. And there's the hero. He's like, leave my town alone, you. And at the end, look, the family's together. There's the dad and the boy and the mom. And she's feeding the little girl doll who finally has a mommy. Mm. John, she wants a mommy. And there's the bear and he's feeding the dog. And there's Gregasis eating the mashed potatoes. And there's a the little train guy. He has a little triangle or something. It's they their charcoal is not that expensive, guys. You're talking about maybe maybe a buck or two a pencil. A couple bucks a pencil. So these are uh, right here. Cheap. Cheap charcoal. Here. Another one. Get your tea on there real light. Now, this is much harder to pull. You'll see that it starts to bend more, but this is how you make the whole page gray. Watch how much gray you can actually do. Because the problem is what? Our lead's not long enough. So how do we get our lead long enough? You have to sharpen. Wait, you're, you gotta, when you draw, you're gonna guide your finger. You're gonna guide, keep the rest of your hand on the paper so you feel it. Feel the, the see my, my fingers are on the paper. Yeah, otherwise you're, you're doing an unsupported line and it's gonna get real wank. If I try and draw like this, right, it's gonna get much wankier. So if I drag my hand on the paper and then just set the pencil down on it and then pull it up, see that? So try that. Without making a line, you're just gonna run your fingers down the paper and then drop the pet lightly down and then lift it up. Yeah, at the end. What a cute story. It's too bad that, that Hollywood will end up doing their own woke stuffed animal movie. 
and they'll all just be rainbow. Here we go. One more time. Down the paper. I'm just going to set it down a little bit and then up. Now look how much more subtlety and control you have here compared to here. This is a caveman drawing with a stick. This is an artist trying to gain control of his line. Every character, it will be illegal to have any character not made out of rainbow cloth. Sparkly rainbow cloth. It will be against the law. In fact, if you go and watch the movie and you're not wearing a rainbow, they'll throw you in jail. That's the, that's the first one is a line. And I've seen guys go through an entire tablet, Johnny, just trying to pull one perfect one good line. straight line. They, I've seen them go through an entire tablet, I promise you, to master it. This pad cost 16 bucks or whatever it was. Worth it. If you can suddenly go and just throw down, watch how fast I have to go to. Use my whole arm all the way up to the shoulder just to pull one line. Now, a great artist, I've seen him do it before. They say draw a straight line and he'll just go, boom. And it looked like he had a ruler. Keep guessing, this is the bad guy cat. <gasps> so the reason why he's bad is because his master, his owner, uh, I, th I think she's dying of cancer, which is another, that's another thing I go to. Oh, you, she has cancer. You did that thing in Ratfish. Yeah, too. yeah, always. It's like, she has cancer. So I'm trying to think of what happened because I, when I was a kid, I went to the hospital and I was given a stuffed animal mm. and, I, and I really did hold him close. It was, in fact, a friend gave him to me. So something happened with their relationship where either, I think the cat was left at home because she had to go to the hospital. So they didn't think to bring the stuffed animal to her. So he figured they moved and abandoned him, kind of like in Toy Story. But he thought that she abandoned her and really she went to the hospital. So on the journey in the story somewhere, they find out this girl is in the hospital. And at the end, the final scene is the bad guy cat is back with his master and she has pulled out of it because she has a stuffed animal. Something like that. See, it's like, she just, anyways, look at how black that is with the charcoal. That's the hospital bed. You can get some really good stuff with charcoal. He can perform. Like he practiced so much, right? That he was perfect. So what does that mean? If you can't pull one line, how will you ever learn to draw the sternocleidomastoid or the odontoid process or the ovicular foramen? There's these very complicated things you'll have to draw. And, and people always say, I can't even draw a straight line. I've seen guys that can draw a straight line. Okay, so line, guess what's next after line? Circle. That's right. There are guys where you say, draw a circle. They take the pencil, they put it down once, and they make a perfect circle. Good that nice guy's nice. used an entire tablet or two or five on making artists tr practice making a perfect circle all the time. So here's what we're gonna do for a circle, right? And really I'm not in a great position to do this, but I'm gonna try to use my body and I'm making a circle first in my head on the paper. And I can tell it's getting eggy on me, egg-shaped oval. How is it gonna get any better when I lay a pencil line down if I'm drawing, you know, if I'm drawing an oval and I'm, I'm saving myself time by doing it in the air first, right? And correcting the air. Correct it in the air. These aren't masterpieces. This is about just kind of getting some ideas down first. It's if you're, if you're not willing to do circles and lines, then I don't know if you're ready to do the human form yet. So just give me 20 good circles, 20 good lines. I, I can tell already it's not a, oh, we're getting there. I can already tell it's not a circle. And then you just go. That's right now, that's the best circle I could come up with. First one should be better by now. I'm 57 years old, 56 years old. So here we go. What you're going to do is fill your pad up. But see, I'm using my whole arm and I've got my fingers on the paper, John. Let your fingers be a guide on the paper. 
Yeah, hey, that's a good one. That's another good one. Good, when they're proportioned and appealing, you're getting your circles down. And what you want, you should be able to do big ones, little ones, but mostly you should be able to repeat them and get them to be pretty similar in size and volume. And you want consistency. Man, you can if you can draw a circle and a line, good. And then set we're gonna set our eyes. See that's like that's like the bottom lid, and this is the top lid, and it makes a circle. Okay, and then put a black circle in the middle. I mean, Johnny, I've been drawing my whole life, and the first thing my figure drawing instructor says is, go to give me a page of circles and lines. I'm like, oh crud. Huh. And he was right, because after a while, I really could throw down better. Uh, I also go clockwise and counterclockwise. Some guys don't do that, but I do, because it's more about seeing it and getting your... Art is seeing, okay? If you do something wrong, it's because you're not uh, seeing it right. The second half of it is skill to be able to depict what you're seeing. So some people, they couldn't look at a circle and pick out which one was the actual circle. Actually, it's weird, this first one is my best circle without practice. And I can put a highlight up at the top. They look oh. like they're catching light. Oh, that's what it is. Yeah. But just, there should be more movement in it. So it's a lighter, wispier, and the construction is still solid. But th that's fine work. So look, we did circles and lines. Guy could go a long way with that. Yeah. And then, like this one here, way over here, we can make this one into a duck. You're gonna pull a line down and put the top of the bill over like that. Pull it down, yeah. And the top of the bill goes right on top of it. That's the lip. Good. And then underneath it, and see, there's no twinning in these lines. You're going different lines. And then you can just bring a smile all the way back and he's got a cheek that can crowd up into his eyes. Pencils, when they give you these, this is the government. This is not, an artist is not dictated by one of these on the correct shape of a pencil. I'm gonna go ahead and use it, but you know, who cares? This is a toy. This is a toy and this is a machine, the way a machine would do it. What you really do is you take one of these and you slowly put your thumb on it and you slowly shave. Oh. You don't want to dig in deep, man, because if you dig in too deep, you'll just take the lead right off. So all I'm doing is I'm just going to try and go around this thing a whole bunch. That wasn't a good one. That was just like a total divot. You're supposed to remember in Surf's Up when he shows him how to do the board. He, I remember oh, it does remind me of that. It's exactly man. I because the artists that that did that, they all know that guy was a true artist. He wasn't talking about a board. He was talking about sharpening a pencil long, let it sweep, let it move. You don't want to dig into the. You don't want to dig into the lead. As long as you're on wood, you're fine. But what we need is a lot more lead to be exposed. Okay, so I'm I'm digging that wood back a, a bit to get it off there. Now I, I told you in the store that if these are bad quality, then sometimes the lead will just break. As soon as the wood support is off of it, the lead can't. I mean the lead, the ash. Charcoal can't hold its shape on its own. It's really reliant too much on the wood. High quality ash, high quality charcoal can hold its own shape and really take a beating. And something happened to pencils in the uh, late 90s where just the quality went to caca around the world. And I think it's the quality of the ash of the wood they're pulling it from, but it was lumpy. Suddenly it was very hard to sharpen them and have them hold their long tip. Okay, I'm getting down to it now. We're getting down there. Long, just like surfs up the surfboard. And then uh, bottom of the bottom jaw. 
And this is like kind of a duck guy or something. Try carving a charcoal pencil up. These are cheap charcoal pencils. My teacher, I came to class. I'm like, what's this shaving the pencil garbage? And he said, Doug, here's a box of pencils. I want you to shave them all down. He would make me do like a two to three inch lead. Like the, we would shave the wood back so there's a two to three inch lead sticking out. And this one here we'll make into more of a classic Mickey Mouse. I'm gonna bring down that bridge of the nose. I'm gonna put a shiny black nose on the end. And they have slightly pointed noses too. And I'm gonna bring up his, I'm gonna give him some teeth. It, you'll have a better shot at it, but you'd be amazed at how good you get at shaving. This is how they do it in the atelier in Italy. Oh, look what, look at. Bonk. Bad. So here we go. We'll do it again. I've gone through a whole box and I've shaved a pencil down to here. If that's all that's left, that's all that's left. If that's what it takes, that's what it takes. So you have to be very patient and you can't over dig. I might have, I, now I don't know if that was my mistake or if that was this one's mistake. Usually if I miss out of practice, it's going to be my mistake. I don't want to blame the quality of the thing yet. I also wonder if there's such a thing as an adjustable sharpener where you can get just a huge honk in lead by going away and have it be a machine that shaves it down because this does seem like something a machine should be able to do better than my own clunky skills. And then from the bottom of that there, you're gonna bring this. And then a tiny bottom lip. And get a little sandpaper. I got I got the little sand pad at uh, Hobby Lobby, and then each of these this was a ninety nine cent for a sanding pad, and then ears up here, which I make them kind of wedge shaped. See, instead of making them just perfect circles, take some of your lead off with that. You saw what I did, and while you practice, you can do it right here. Just chip it off a little bit. Remember, you're trying to slide just, yeah, yep, nice. And don't touch the lead. Don't yeah. let it, try, try not to let it touch the lead. But the sandpaper, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go try, try and put a pencil on it. 